All right, so uh, we just got done watching Sailor Moon Season 1, Episode 14. A powerful new enemy, Neferit's Evil Crest. Uh, now, so this episode starts, uh, the first thing that you would notice is that the intro has changed. Uh, we begin yeah. the same intro about how Yusagi's 14, she's blood type, so... No, you know, she's she doesn't gonna... say that this time, though. No, exactly, but like, we would get in that. Okay, so yeah. now we have a different intro. Which I think it was about time. It was about time. It understands that the audience knows all the, 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 the preamble that we're getting by yeah, now. Yeah, she literally says, you know this by now. Yeah. You and, know this by And we now. get uh, Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars intro slipped in, which was... Uh, the, the most interesting thing was that Sailor Mars is described as, what was it, psychic? Uh, 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 psych, my, my psychic, my psychic friend, yeah. yeah. My psychic something, yeah. Yeah, it was some, it was something about her being a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, tempered. It's, you know, oh, yeah, my, yeah, 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 something, yeah. Like, something like that, uh, which I found interesting. And then so immediately uh, uh, after the new sort of uh, uh, prologue, we're introduced to the new sort of main villain, which is uh, Neferit. Uh, who's sort of a long-haired, very much more serious and uh, yeah. and sort of arrogant character than Je Jedi, who's more of a soldier, more of a, a Boy Scout than than this guy. This guy is much more of a general sort of character, yeah. Uh, like in a in a military and, sense. And Jedi seemed a little more all over the place, a little more scattered with what he this was guy's doing got there. big like, ideas. Yeah, this guy's got big ideas. I mean, it really plays in the first uh, episode here. Uh, uh, so with him and he, so so the the. He even says Queen Barrel has much more faith in yeah. this guy. That's for sure. Like, oh, definitely. Just like I trust you to go do your thing, man. You're yeah, gonna be better than Jim. And then uh, who was it that said overconfidence can be a downfall? Uh, yeah, he said that to the long hair, to Nefreet. Yeah, because um, he's very, he's very certainly. He's like, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to do something. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean this this whole episode revolves around tennis. Yeah. And uh, what uh what happens is. Uh, Mura, Mura, Ner Neru, Neru. It, it switched between that with the translation Neru and Mura, which yeah. is weird. Uh, but whatever. Uh, her and Ray, she called her a sister. You saw, he got kind of mad. They've been friends for forever, like their whole life, uh -huh. and um, they're play they've always played tennis. And then this new guy with the long hair, Nefri, comes, and he's like, everyone's like gawking over him. He's so hot, so attractive, and then uh, he cur like kind of puts a spell on Ray's tennis racket yeah okay before that we see him though like in, in essentially like in a dark church sort of thing like oh yeah the, the, the dark kingdom channeling, the dark kingdom well no no not the dark kingdom he's in like sort of like a like a faraway mansion okay, thing, okay yeah. uh that like haunted mansion looking thing and he he channels the stars and he asks who am, am i gonna find uh who's who's gonna reach their peak energy so i can absorb it from one oh yeah that was yeah. the main thing yeah well his the, concept yeah, the, was that you don't whole... need to gather energy from a lot of people you need yeah. to gather energy from one person yeah or like peaking. a few people that are peaking at because he yeah. said that humans uh always can reach their peak energy or always do reek yeah reach at some point in their life energy in their life um so the way he would uh create like that mass amount of energy is by uh, kind of like cursing Ray's racket and making her the best tennis player, and she gets super. No, he means Rui, not Ray. Ray is Sailor Sailor Mars. Rui is the name of the the one off character that's oh Rui, okay, He's the yeah. Tennis player. It's, uh, okay, yeah. who gets in? She's an amazingly uh, talented tennis player who's famous, and uh, you know everybody in in town is watching her. Yeah, and I super thought that was what, she looked like Ray then. Yeah, yeah. no man, you're you're wrong. Can't you're totally that. wrong. Let's get it together. Damn it. Um. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, Ru what's her name, Rua? Yeah, Rui. Rui? Rui. Like Rui. R U I. Oh, okay, Rui, yeah. Um, they don't make it easy. Rui, Ray, you know. It's these translations. Uh, so let's see, uh, and then we actually hear from Luna, uh, kind of like diss uh, Usagi at one point by saying like, oh, if, if it wasn't for Ray and um, uh, Sailor Mercury, uh, that the Dark Kingdom would have taken over by now. Yeah, and, yeah. That you saw, yeah. he needs the partnership because she's such a crybaby. Yeah, and uh, you know that might be true. Uh, however, you know in this episode that is totally disproven, which was a really great character development. Yeah. That, that we saw later. Yeah. We'll get to that. Um, I, I Luna's uh, Luna only once before I believe in episode eight you see Luna uh, talking to an arcade machine. Uh, through saying certain passcodes through the Sailor V video game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, basically she discusses information with some kind of rebel leader, I guess, like the yeah. anti-Dark Kingdom. And she finds out that they're called the Dark Kingdom firsthand mm -hmm. and that they're actively trying to suck human energy for 
uh, an unknown reason yeah. uh, to to the sailors and to yeah, and we know the human energy that they're trying to suck human energy, yeah. but it's since, still this since unknown day one. since they won, but it's still an unknown. It's not we don't know why, which well, I, I think it's for Queen uh, Barrel's own whatever, but we don't she we, wants, we don't yeah, know yeah. what they want out of it truly. Yeah. Um, so tennis uh, is a big big theme in this. I know I, it's I'd kind like of a to... tennis monster. The yeah. whole the monster is um, kind of comes out of the racket and becomes yeah this like super tennis. So, yeah, Rui becomes so good at tennis yeah. that uh, she starts hurting people and breaking people's rackets with, yeah. with her insane serve. And then I think it was Yusagi that says, tennis isn't meant to be violent. It isn't meant to be right. like, this is don't, like, tennis is nice, you know. I don't know, they, they really like tennis. At one point, somebody would like to challenge Rui uh, in her in her sort of dark, magical mm-hmm. tennis state. Dark, kind of dark he mode. Says, he says, hey, first come, first serve, which I, I thought was just yeah. great, a great little uh, turn of phrase. Uh, hilarious pun. Just, just a laugh, right? Yeah. I noticed that tennis, in a lot of ways, tennis uh, works well in Japanese culture as it, it staunchly parallels sort of a, a, the conflict of, of, say, a samurai or, yeah. or, or, or a martial art, mm-hmm. a one-on-one sport. Um, and that definitely was made clear in this. I figured that the final conflict, which was more of a, of a normal Sailor Moon final conflict, albeit with a little bit more physical comedy, um, would be like a tennis battle. Yeah, like yeah. People playing tennis. You For know? sure, yeah. But uh, it wasn't. And that's yeah. that's okay, though, because what we got was really good. Yeah, uh, Usagi yeah. Is, is transformed into In, a yeah, tennis, tennis ball. Tennis ball and getting hit around. Just getting bounced around yeah. all silly. Um, and then, who saves the day? Not Sailor Mercury or Mars. They, they didn't show Actually, up. they didn't appear at all. It was mostly Sailor Moon. Um, but, but we got our guy, Tuxedo, Tuxedo Mask. Mask. We see the Rose. And then he... But then something happens to him where he so he almost defeats uh, the tennis monster or whatever. But then uh, something happens to him where Sailor Moon has to take over and she's like, "Wait, are you okay?" And he's like, "No, don't worry about me. Like, just do just the just Moon Tierra action. Yeah. Moon Tierra action happens, and then uh, they collectively save the day." And then also, do you, I think Tuxedo Mask can fly. I don't know if that's for sure. It seems like he can yeah. fly in this episode. Yeah. Or he that also, was like a really animated jump. Yeah, like, maybe. But it uh, seems like he can fly. He also has this giant stick that he at will can make bigger and smaller that we haven't seen before that's yeah. sort of his go-to weapon sort of like a magic wand that can endlessly retract uh which which was kind of bizarre um yeah the tuxedo theme music is so great yeah it it's really is really, every that, time it's some of the best music it really gets you going it's going you're like yes. um yeah and, yeah and it's filled with excitement but yeah you know that you saw you really did it on your own this yeah time. but and then we see sailor mars and mercury run up and they're, like, and they're like, oh my god, like... Maybe she has grown up a little well, bit. Well, yeah, Luna says... Maybe she maybe, has grown up. Maybe she has grown up. And then, you know, the ending is just Yusagi sitting proud of herself while she watches Rui and her friend Naru uh, enjoy a match of tennis. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this was a really great episode. I, I found that the they definitely have found more interesting ways to to have the Monster of the Week conflict. Yeah, definitely. And because we have more characters t- uh, to play with within the dynamic. So I this was yeah. this was a great episode. And I'm excited to see what happens with... Um, uh, ne- what's his name? Nefrit. Nefrit. I'm excited yeah. to see where he goes with this because Queen Barrow will be upset. And uh, she had it with Jadeite, so let's see how long uh, Nefrit lasts. Yeah, soon. but I think he's got some great ideas yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, seems he's, like he's an ideas man. Yeah. Anyways, right. thanks for watching.